So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Pavli email marketing subscriber for cash free payment and add details in Google Sheets. Let's say you're using cash free as a payment gateway to collect the payments for your business. Now you want that whenever a customer makes a payment, you want to add the same customer with the same details as a subscriber in Pavli email marketing. And also you want to add the details of the payment in your Google spreadsheet to maintain the record. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process with the help of Pavli Connect. In this automation, as we are going to receive a new payment in cash free, automatically with the same details, we are going to add this customer as a subscriber in Pavli email marketing. And also we are going to add the details of the same payment as a record as a new row in our Google spreadsheet. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this complete automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my cash free account. Now I want that whenever I receive a successful payment on my cash free account, I want to add the customer who made the payment as a subscriber in Pavli email marketing. And also I want to add the payment details like the customer name, email, mobile number, amount, payment ID in my Google spreadsheet as a record as a new row as well. Now to do this, we have to connect cash free with Pavli email marketing and Google Sheets. And we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration platform to do so. Now to get started with Pavli Connect, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. After creating your account and coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as cash free to Pavli email marketing to Google Sheets. You can basically give any other name as per your choice. After naming our workflow, we just have to select the folder in which we want to set up this automation. And after that, we just have to click on this create button. Now, as you click on create here, you can see the workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger step. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our cash free account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever we receive a new payment in cash free automatically the details of the customer and the details of that successful payment will be received inside Pavli Connect. Then after that using this Pavli Connect automation we are going to send the details of the same payment and the customer and basically we are going to add that customer as a subscriber in our Pavli email marketing account. Also, we are going to add the details of that payment as a new row in our Google Sheet using the same automation. So let's see how it is done. Here in our trigger window in Choose App, we'll search for Cash Free and select it. After selecting Cash Free in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as Payments. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Cash Free account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here and go to your cash free account. After coming to cash free from the left sidebar, we will scroll down and under developer section, we will go to webhooks over here. After coming to this webhooks page here under payment gateway, we'll click on this add webhook endpoint. And then we have to paste the exact same webhook URL given by Pavli Connect over here. After pasting the endpoint URL, select the webhook version as the latest version over here. And then we will just click on this test button. Now, when we click on test, a test response is sent by cash free to this webhook URL means to Pavli Connect. We'll come to a Pavli Connect workflow. And yes, here you can see that the test response is received successfully. Now, once again, we'll click on this recapture webhook response button, click on yes, and it has changed to waiting for webhook response. Now we'll get back to cash free and continue setting up this webhook. Just click on this continue button and here we don't have to make any changes, but here under select event, we have to select the event of successful payment. So here we have to select this event of success payment over here. We are telling cash free that whenever we receive a new successful payment on our cash free account, automatically send the payment details to this webhook URL. Then just click on continue and click on save. And as we click on save here, you can see this webhook URL is now added in our cash free account. After adding this webhook URL, here in our Pavli Connect workflow, it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to capture some response of a new payment from cash free. So here what we are going to do, we are going to make a test payment. 
I'll just go to the payment form section. Here you can see I have this payment form created for a marketing ebook. I'll just copy the link and paste it in a new tab. And here I'm going to enter the details of a dummy customer. Let's say the name of the person is demo user. Then the email address of this person is this. After entering the email address, this is the dummy mobile number of the same user. The age is for example 25 and after entering the details of a dummy customer, let's click on this pay securely. Now because right now while setting up this automation, I am in the test mode of cash free. That's why using this test card, we are going to make a successful transaction. Click on this proceed to pay button and using this test card, we just made a test payment. Let's enter the dummy OTP as well. And after entering the OTP, you can see that the payment will be successful. So just now we have received a new payment on our cash free account. And as we receive this payment, we'll go to our public connect workflow. And here in the trigger step, you can see we have received the response instantly. And in this response, you can see we have received the response of a successful payment. We'll scroll down and you can see all the other details as well. Like we have received the name of the gateway from which we have received the payment. We have the date and time that at what date and time the payment was received. And also we have the payment status over here. And after that, here we have the details of the card using which the payment was made. We'll scroll down further. We have the currency and the amount of the payment as well. We have the unique payment ID. Then after that, here you can see we have the details of the customer who made the payment. We have the name of the customer, the email address and the mobile number. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully connected our cash free account with Pabli Connect and captured the details of a successful payment. Now after this, let's move to step two. In step two, we want to add the same person, the same customer as a subscriber in Pabli email marketing. For that, what we are going to do, we will just scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, we will search for Pabli email marketing. Just select it. After selecting Pabli email marketing, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as add subscriber. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to enter the token API token of our Pabli email marketing account to make the connection between Pabli email marketing and Pabli connect. And now you must be thinking how you will get this API token. So to get it, just go to your PM account, Pabli email marketing account from the left sidebar, go to integrations. After coming to the integration section over here, just go to developer API and here you can see the API token. Just copy the API token from here, go to Pabli connect and paste it over here. And after pasting this API token, just click on save. And as you click on save here, you can see that the connection between Pabli email marketing and Pabli connect will be done. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the list name. That what is the name of the list in which we want to add the subscriber in our PEM account. So in my Pabli email marketing account, you can see I have created multiple lists over here, multiple email list, subscriber list. And in this drop down in Pabli connect, you can see a list of all the email lists can be seen. Out of all of this, paid customer, this is the particular subscriber list in which I want to add the subscriber. So I'm selecting the same list over here. Then it is asking us for the email address and the name of the person to whom we want to add as a subscriber. So we have received the details of the customer who made the payment from cash free in the trigger step. Now here from the trigger step response is we have to send this response of the customer like the name and the email address of the customer to this Pabli email marketing action step. And to add the responses of trigger step to the action step, we are going to use a process called mapping. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of email and here from this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a successful payment which we have received from cash free. Out of all of these responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped. Similarly, we will follow the same process for name as well. Just click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of name. Now, if you want to add some other details of these subscribers as well, then instead of add subscriber, you can use this action event of add subscriber with custom field and create the custom fields in Pabli email marketing and add the data as well. After selecting our subscriber list and mapping the email address and name, just click on save and send test request. And as you click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a subscriber with the same details, basically the customer who made the payment on cash free, that same customer is now added as a subscriber in Pabli email marketing. So let's check it. We will come to a Pabli email marketing account and we will just refresh this page once. And yes, here you can see that under the same subscriber list, paid customers, a new subscriber is added. And this is the same customer who made the payment on our cash free payment page. 
This means the step two of setting up this automation, adding the cash free customer in our PM account as a subscriber is also completed. Now let's move to the final step where we want to add these payment details as a record in Google Sheets. For that, we will just click on this add action step button and here in choose app, we will search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets here in action event from the drop down, select the action event as add new row. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button. Here in this pop-up window, select your Google Sheets account. And after selecting your account, we just have to scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. Now here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which I have in my Google Sheets account. Out of all of this, the spreadsheet in which we want to add the payment details from Cash Free is named as Cash Free Payments. So from this drop down, I'm going to select this particular spreadsheet. Now here in this spreadsheet as well, it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple sheets over here. So in the next drop down of select sheet, you will get a list of all the sheets which you have created. Right now in this sheet, you can see I have only one sheet named as Sheet 1. That's why in this drop down, we are seeing only one option of Sheet 1 and we are going to select it. Then it is asking us for the customer name. Now here we have received the details of the customer and the payment details from cash free in the trigger step. So here from the trigger step responses, one by one, we have to basically use the same process of mapping to add the details in this Google Sheets action step. We will just click on this field of customer name and from the drop down from cash free responses, select the response of the name of the customer and it will be mapped. Then we will click on this field of email and from the drop down, select the response of email and map it to. After email address, let's map the mobile number. So from the drop down, search for the response of mobile number. Then let's map the amount as well. So let's scroll down and select the response of amount. Then after that, let's map the unique payment ID. So let's search for the response of payment ID. Here it is and date and time. So here is the response of date and time of the payment. Let's search for it and here it is. So in this way, what we have done, we have basically mapped all the details into the respective fields of this Google Sheets action step. After mapping all the payment details from cash free over here, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of the payment which we have mapped over here with the same details, a new record is added, a new row is added in our Google Sheets account. So let's check it. We'll go to a Google Sheets account and yes, here you can see that just now a new row of data is added in Google Sheet and in this row you can see the details of the same customer who made the payment on our cash free account. We have the same name, same email, same mobile number, same amount for which they made the payment, we have the payment ID and the date and time. This means this automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect between cash free, Pavli email marketing and Google Sheets, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. For that, once again, I'll go back to Cash Free, copy the payment link, the same payment link, paste it in a new tab, and this time we are going to make another payment. The name of the customer is Test Demo. This is the email address over here. Then after that, this is the mobile number which we are entering. This is just another dummy mobile number. The age is for example 30 and click on Pay Securely. Then because we are in the test mode, once again, we'll use the test card to make the payment and click on proceed to pay. Now, as we click on proceed to pay button, you can see that it is asking us for the OTP. So with the dummy OTP, we are going to make a successful payment and the payment is done. Just now in our cash free account, we received a payment and we will see instantly within seconds in our Pavli email marketing account, the subscriber will be added. We will just refresh this page and as we refresh the page, you can see that the second subscriber, the second customer is added as a subscriber over here. We'll go to the same subscriber list and test demo, the same user is added. And in our Google Sheets account as well, the same customer is added. We have the same name of the customer, test demo, same email, same mobile number, same amount and rest of the details as well. This means this automation is working perfectly fine and we have tested this automation in real time. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own account and start using this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. 
and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also you can post your queries on our forum as well and if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.